welcome to our top uh, subject, Industrial Motor Control. Today, I will be giving you uh, a, one part of uh, motor control in which is very important. No? And uh, this is uh, limit switch. I might not uh, give you everything about limit switch, but I will only give you the overview of what is uh, what this uh, limit switch is all about. Because limit switch is a very important part, especially in sequential control. But this is always done in uh, manual operation. Because we have also another part in which uh, instead of uh, heating a limit switch, and then this is through the time so we will be using a uh, timer so in lieu of limit switch we can use also timer now uh, I have here a limit switch this is your limit switch no? roller type this is a very good brand okay uh, this is made in Germany so this is also very expensive now, if you will uh, open what is inside, of course, there is still contact. A normally closed and a normally open contact. And usually in a limit switch, you have a port terminal. So you have here, no? this is only a sample. So if you have your limit switch here, you have this one. Like that. Okay. So uh, we will see like this. Mm -hmm. no. so this is your symbol uh, of limit switch this is your common uh, normally closed and normally open but remember no remember uh, there is also what we call held closed and held open so held closed and held open is different from normally open and normally closed okay so when you say held open, so there is already some, uh, some, uh, something pushing the limit switch, okay? That is what you call held open. So when the holding coil is energized, of course, when the box is going to, or maybe an object is going to hit, then the, uh, the normally open will close. So we have also held close, so it is already uh, being pushed. So when the conveyor is already working or energized, then the box will be uh, will be removed. Then what will happen to the held close? It will also open. But when we see normally open at standstill, meaning wala pag yun siya ay kurente o pag isa so that is what we call normally open. So even uh, held closed, held open, wala pa na sila mga kurente. So when it is energized, that's the time that the held closed will become open and the held open will become closed. The same in normally open that will become closed and normally closed that will become open when it is already working. So we have here the symbol of limit switch. Now this is a three-terminal ter uh, three uh, contacts. So we have also a four terminal contact. Okay. Then later on, I will open the inside part of. I will let you see the inside part of the limit switch. So you have your the normally closed, then you have your the normally open. So when this lever is being pushed, if this is so like that, then there is an object, you no, know, that will hit this one, bang, like that. Then the normally open will close, and the normally close will open. Okay, so when uh, the object is moving again like that, it will go back to normal position. So limit switch is a device that will only actuate or work when there is a mechanical motion. Remember that? A limit switch is a type of device that will only work or actuate or move or contact when there is a mechanical motion. So 
this is a roller type because there is also a limit switch that is a push button type or button type. Uh, it, <coughs> now you have the button here, then there is object, it will push the button. And that is button type, but the contact is the same. So I will uh, open this one so that you can see how uh, it is uh, the contact is being see okay. yeah, so you have your contact here and then uh, we have here the uh, 13 14 that is normally open and then we have also another one here the 21 22 that is normally closed so look at this there's really a symbol mm -hmm. There's a symbol. So you will know where are the normally closed and where are the normally open. So you have here. No? So uh, in this portion, 13, 14, this is normally, uh, it looks like this. No. So here is your uh, normally, this is 13, 14, so this is normally open. While 21 and 22, that is normally closed. Okay. So... There is what we call the, a mechanism inside that will push the contact to become normally open or normally close. Okay, so you have here. So this is your limit switch or roller type. Mm -hmm. Roller type. Okay. Now, uh, we have also another uh, type of limit switch. Or maybe the same type but different construction. And then I will also teach you on how to install this properly in a location. Okay, like this. And then you have also another one here. This is an, uh, a surplus. So you have a lever, and then the lever is adjustable. The first one is not. Fixed. You cannot adjust this anymore, particularly the distance. So, but this one you can uh, uh, you can adjust this too, like that. So you will only use Allen wrench. Lose this one using a uh, Allen wrench, then you can adjust. No, you can adjust there and there. So the same, no? the same, like that. The the contact is actually the same as this. Then we have also another one here, no? This is what we call the, a post button or button type. So this is still a limit switch. Now this is an industrial limit switch. Again, this is AB, Allen Bradley. And then uh, you have here. So if there is an object, the object will post this. So a post button type. So it depends the application and function. Okay, so this is your limit switch. Look at that. Then uh, you will also know uh, where uh, the uh, symbol you have here. Uh, the symbol here is uh, normally and now you have here. Normally close is one and two, and then normally open is three and four. You have the symbol. Then you will also know the contact capacity. Because there is a data here. Okay? Mm. So that is the limit switch. Now, I have a sample here. I have a sample. Let us see the condition is like this. When you press the push button, the box will, all move, will always move toward location B. So this is your location B. And then the condition is like this. Pressing the push button on, the box will always move towards location B here. So that's the uh, condition. So upon reaching uh, location A and touching LS2 or limit switch 2, the box will automatically go back to location A or here in the side 
Then when uh, it touch L is or will hit L is one or let me switch one again the box will automatically goes back to location B so on and so forth. It will only stop when you press the button stop. So that's the condition. So you are using limit switch here. Okay? You are using limit switch. Because there's a tendency that in the company, we're particularly using a conveyor, there is always condition. There is always uh, what we call a sequence. Okay? Now you have only one possible, uh, one, one uh, conveyor here. But if you have another conveyor, if you have another conveyor, then of course that is what we call a uh, sequential control. You will use already sequential control. Okay. I am going to give you uh, one uh, diagram or one problem uh, using a limit switch. So for instance, the condition is like this. Pressing the button 1, so meaning to say you have two push buttons. Pressing button 1, the box will go, go, uh, will go to or moves to location B. Then when it touches L is to or limit switch to, automatically box will stop. That's the condition. Then if you want to let the box go back to location A here, Okay, so location A, then this is your location B. So, you will push another push button here. So, you have your push button here, start, stop. You have also push button here, start, stop. So, pressing push button here, let us see this is going to location B. Then the box will move to a location B. Upon touching L is 2, the box will automatically stop. Okay? Stop. Fully stop. So if you want to run again this uh, motor or this uh, conveyor, you have to press the button normally open here. Or push button on. So when you press push button on here, the box will move towards location A. Upon touching location, uh, I mean limit switch one, the box again will automatically off. Okay? Then, uh, you want to run it again, push the button number one, gear, push number two, here, so on and so forth. So, the box will stop any time in this uh, distance when you press the button stop. But, when it hits limit switch here, either of the two, automatically stop without stopping the motor. So that is the condition. So the control circuit, of course, the same in the direct online magnetic starter. You can use a single phase here or you can use a, a three phase here motor. Now, considering that this is back and forth so you will use a forward reverse okay a forward reverse direct line but in the control circuit there is already an additional part and this is the limit switch okay so look at that now i'm going to draw the power circuit and the control circuit of the condition that i gave you Okay, uh, like this one. Okay, so we have here the uh, the diagram of the conveyor. You have the uh, here in this portion is location A, and there it is location B, and then uh, you have the limit switch one, and then you have the limit switch two. So this is your conveyor. Then you have your motor here. It might be three phase or single phase, and then we have also here the what we call. Uh, the push button 1 and then the push button 2. Then here is the diagram of the condition that I gave you. The power circuit here, no, the same power circuit that I gave you in 
direct online magnetic starter forward reverse operation you can use the power circuit but considering that there is already a limit switch so uh, the control circuit is different again i will give you the condition pressing the button number one the box will move towards location b upon reaching location b and touches uh, ls2 the box will automatically start okay then when you press again button number two you will press again button number two okay button number two the box will move towards location a when it touch look uh, limit switch one the box will automatically start so when i say automatically start without pressing stop button but if the box is traveling no while traveling it may be location a or location b pressing one of the stop buttons the box of course will also stop okay and then if the box is in the center or in the middle then it's up to you you want the box go to location b or you want the box to go to location a so you can post the on button either of the two if the box is in the middle or maybe the box is not uh, hitting yet the limit switch or limit switches but once the box is hitting uh, limit switch one or uh, limit switch two then you need to use the post button so for, for instance the limit switch i mean the box is when you press the button number one the box at, uh, reaching here but not touching the limit switch two then you want to on it again in in this portion you want to on the going uh, so that the box will go back to location a so you press this one or if you want to let the box continue traveling to, towards location b so you on this one okay so that is the operation so i have here the uh, overload contact you have here the push button number one and push button number one. Stop and start. Then you have the uh, uh, maintaining contact. And then here, uh, you simply connect that in parallel. So you have here, you connect only this one. Oh, look, look at this. You connect this. The same section. So this is LS2. This is LS2. Oh no, L is one. This is L is one. Mm. Now, for me, in order to be safe, because, you know, in forward reverse, I told you, there is always interlock. So you can have also this one. So there is an interlock for safety reason. Mm. So this is forward, this is reverse. This is now from reverse, I mean forward. This is coming from forward. This is coming from reverse. And then why is it that I really let you have this interlock? Now remember, if you will press the button here at the same time, there's a tendency that this there will be a short circuit if this is without interlock. So we need to have this interlock in the control circuit. Okay? So, I hope you know the condition. And then, this is the solution. Then, always remember that in our final exam, I will be giving you more on problems. Okay? So, I will only give you the condition. And then, you will develop the control and the power circuit as what I am doing now. So, I will only illustrate to you the diagram like this. Then, I will give you the condition. Then, you will develop the power and the control circuit. So there will be more uh, problems that I'm going to give you, okay? Uh, maybe a complicated one, so that you can also practice. Okay, so now remember your group. Don't ever forget your group because there is also a tendency that I will give you a quiz and then your group will answer the uh, problem. Okay, in the final. 
So I hope you understand the topic today. And then just keep on reviewing this video. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. So I would like also to request or encourage all the students taking in the self-control to please view all the videos. And then when you are also viewing, please like so that I will also know that uh, most of you are really viewing the video. Ang uban sa inyo kasaling na lang eh. So please don't do that. You will learn nothing if you will not do it by yourself. Okay? So thank you and good day.